Alucard offers a product line of software tools for video quality analysis. In this video, we will demonstrate how you may use Alucard Stream Eye Studio in order to detect if there is any sign or evidence of forgery, such as linear video editing, and check if the streams were included using one similar device. These are common tasks for forensic laboratories, which need to verify authenticity of video fragments. Each encoder applies specific parameters in the process of encoding. If the whole stream with edited part was not encoded, then encoding parameters of the edited part will differ from parameters of the original parts. The more discrepancies are identified in the applied encoding parameters, the higher is the possibility that some parts of the stream were encoded using different devices. It is necessary to find such discrepancies in order to define the possibility that there were any changes added to the stream. In order to find discrepancies, we will use StreamEye. StreamEye is a powerful software tool for professionals in the video compression field. It enables effective in-depth bitstream analysis. StreamEye is used for video compression optimization and debugging, as well as defining the best encoder or encoder settings for your task, restoring corrupted frames of a stream to some extent or identifying a stream portion that was encoded in different way or by another encoder. In order to verify that the video stream was encoded using a device of particular make and model, it is necessary to analyze two streams, encoded stream and reference stream, which authenticity is beyond any doubt. In order to detect any evidence of video editing, one should work with the encoded video sequence only. In such case, it is necessary to analyze different parts of the stream. Using this file as an example, we will demonstrate how to detect the possibility of linear video editing using StreamEye and its basic possibilities. At first, let's focus attention at the bar chart and GOP structure. As you might notice, GOP structure varies. In the beginning and in the end of the sequence, encoder was using B frames. However, there are no B frames used at the interval from 175 up to 200 frames. The further analysis will be carried out comparing encoding parameters at the junction of these parts. Secondly, let's estimate the use of reference frames. For this purpose, we will activate view, bar chart, reference markers and perform positioning on P frames. While doing so, we will also see the tooltip for each frame, indicating the number of reference frames used by encoder. Similar information is available via DBP buffer graph, view, bar chart, DBP occupancy. One may also estimate the actual use of reference links for each frame. Use panel statistics, picture, prediction. As you may notice, encoder used only one reference frame in the editing area. Let's check macro block encoding in iframes. For this purpose, open panel statistics, picture, MB info. Gathered statistics related to the 125th frame clearly demonstrates that encoder was using only one type of macro block, 16 by 16, as opposed to the 100th frame, where encoder was using all possible types, 4 by 4, 8 by 8, and 16 by 16. Let's have a look at intra prediction in iframes. For doing so, open Panel Statistics, Picture, Pred Type, Intra, Luma. The encoder used only four prediction types in the area which was potentially edited, as opposed to using all possible 10 types in the area with no editing. Let's evaluate intra prediction in frames. For this purpose, activate Motion Vector Display by Alt plus 3. If you point cursor at the block having motion vectors, its values will be demonstrated at the block in the panel. As you may see, all the values are multiples of 2, which complies with half-pixel search. In the frames which were not edited, there are vectors having uneven values, which complies with quarter-pixel search. Let's evaluate quantization. For doing so, activate option View Bar Chart Quantizers. It is possible to estimate the average value of quantizer for each frame by analyzing the graph at the bar chart panel. Enabling Alt plus 6 extension, you may see the distribution of quantizer within the frame. 
The average values of quantizers may differ significantly or may have adaptive value within the frame, as in our case. Usually, it is possible to detect potential forgery by checking the basic stream parameters only. Analysis of the same basic parameters also helps to accomplish the second task, verify if the stream was made using a device of a particular make and model. We know that sometimes you may need help to understand how to deal with the product. Please do not hesitate to ask for assistance from our technical support and business team, which is ready to develop a custom configured solution meeting your project requirements. Alicar team is able to help you solving video analysis challenges of any scale and complexity.